Uh, I'm Diane Gaeta. That I'm really sure about. Uh, what do I do? I am an actress. I'm an artist. I'm a producer. I'm a mom. Uh, and I like to bake cakes and decorate homes. I've always been interested in art since I was little. It was something that um, I always explain it like, you know how some people can just sing? I've always been able to just draw. I've always been able to draw what I see. And um, it was funny, actually, driving over here to do this interview. I was on the phone with a, a guy friend of mine, and he asked me, what did, oh, he was asking me about, actually, he was telling me about how microdosing can be good for, um, like, adult attention deficit disorder. And he was just, and I said, you know, I was nervous to try it because um, it's not something I feel like I would do because I've heard that it can mess with your depth perception. And my depth perception as an artist is really important to me. And I actually said on the phone to him, like, if I don't have art, I have nothing. So I guess I've always been interested in, it's just something that feels like an organic part of me. I can't imagine not being drawn to like creative art things because it's like very much a core part of who I am. I think I still struggle with that now, even as an adult. Um, I do do it for real. Um, but I think part of the artistic process and journey is um, uncertainty and being comfortable with that uncertainty um, is really something that I think is the journey of the artist because it is a career that isn't linear and it has a lot of ups and downs and there'll be moments where you're so alive and flush with the muse and creativity and then there are times when you wake up and you're just bereft and it feels empty and like sometimes I'll start a painting and no matter how great my last piece was, I will get to the canvas and it will feel like I'm an absolute beginner. And then other times it will feel like I have am know exactly what I'm doing and I will be like mentally congratulating myself on my own genius. Um, my best guy friend from New York, Jamie, uh, he used to say to me when we were young and like I like, went to NYU with him and we would like traipse around the city and we would like wake up late. And sometimes when I was hungover, I'd be sad. And he would, I remember I was sitting on his couch once and he would always say to me like, as an artist, die, you'll always have a little bit of melancholy. And so you need to make friends with the melancholy and learn to like really see the colors that it shows you because there's a lot of depth there and it sort of goes hand in hand with being an artist. So I think doing it for real life and having the journey is also getting comfortable with all the parts of yourself that contribute to your artistic ability and your creative drive because um, you are your own work. I can't imagine a life where I couldn't make art and be creative. Um, I think I, I mean, this sounds really dark, but I mean, I guess the first thought I had was I would kill myself. Um, that is obviously extreme, but um, I think the freedom and ability to create art and express, like um, an old boyfriend of mine, <laughs> I've talked about a lot of guys already, an old boyfriend of mine used to say, um, that all artists have this like energy inside of them. And, and if you don't put it out, like during the day, it will boomerang back to you and hit you in the face. And that's where it can become self-destructive, this like creative drive that I think um, all artists have. It's kind of how some of them slide into addiction and alcoholism and those things. Because if you don't get that creative energy out and express it in some way, it is like a boomerang. And by the end of the day, it will hit you back in the face. And energy is a real thing. It has to go somewhere. So if you don't put it externally, it can become like destructive. So I guess a life without art for me would mean I wouldn't have anywhere to put everything that is inside of me. And I would probably be like incredibly self-destructive just as like a being because I, I would be bottled up inside and things would not go well. Oh, I would say to worry a lot less um, and to be less self-conscious and to relax and enjoy yourself more, um, that you don't have control over the way that things are going to work out. And really, there isn't some secret formula. There's nothing to figure out. 
Like, nobody knows more than you do. We're all winging it. There's really no there to get to. Even people that you think are so incredibly successful and wealthy, they're still striving for things. There's still things they're not getting. They still have obstacles. Like, there's no there there. It really is just the journey. And to just really root in more and let so many of those concerns about how things were going to work out just go and be present in the moment. Hmm. Creativity means to me, I think I guess it means like the act of sharing. I think like I often will feel things and I need to talk them out with people and I need to connect with people um, to put it somewhere, to like feel it, to be like, what's this feeling? And I think I also like to, um, I like empathizing with other people. I like hearing their stories and like learning about other people. And so I feel like creativity, like in its most initial spark is the urge to connect to other people. I guess it's a combination of things. Um, Like, obviously, the people I love in my life make me come alive, and getting to have moments with them makes me come alive. I can socialize too much. (laughs) I like people a lot. Um, But yeah, my art is definitely, my art is a place of um, solace, truly. Like, I don't, I I guess it does make me come alive, because like I said, when, when it goes well, like there's a scene or a painting, it has the same feeling as sort of falling in love or going on a great first date. Um, But I also, my art has also saved my sanity a lot. And that's really what I think of it as the most too, is like, it makes me come alive, but it also saves me. Because when I feel like I don't have control over things, or I feel really antsy in my skin, or like kind of rudderless, I'll make myself sit at the canvas and I, I sit at my easel and I make myself paint. And it's really like almost my my form of meditation like it transports me and it grounds me and it gives me purpose and it's this it's something like art can give me my own sense of purpose and there's a lot of waiting on other people to give you a sense of purpose in this world like can you give me this job can you ask me out can you do this for me can you what like waiting on other people to provide you something that you can provide yourself I think, through art. And I feel like that's what my art provides for me. It does make me come alive, but it also, it does, it provides a sense of purpose. I think what it really taught me was like how many worlds you can create in your own space. Um, Sort of like Bo Burnham's, like inside, I can't remember exactly what the name of that was, but um, just the idea that you kind of create your own worlds. And so it taught me I need less from the external world and I need less validation than I thought I did. And I do need to be more disciplined if I'm going to be successful in my artistic pursuits because you they never tell you this, but as an artist, you have to make your own schedule. You have to be your own boss and you have to be your own taskmaster. And if you don't do those things, you don't produce any work. So um, it did teach me that I needed to like make sure I carve out the time and treat it as important and valid and special when I focused on my work, that to give myself the permission to take myself seriously in that way, because I think a lot of artists almost feel like they need to apologize or it's hard to own your space. Um, And so, uh, yeah, it taught me to make my own schedule, like be sure to take that time to focus on the work. I need less external validation. And there's lots of magic to be made inside even your own home. I would like to um, be really working as an actress, which I'm working towards, and things are going well, and blah, 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 and you're not supposed to talk about things, so I'm not going to talk about things, but um, having, like, a consistency to that, um, and I do want to have my own art show. I think I'm going to start with an art website, uh, which I still also don't have, um, but just make a place available where people could buy prints and, like, buy original work instead of just having to DM me on Instagram, and... um, I want to own my own house, how relevant that is. Um, Yeah, so I just see myself, I guess, like really working, I really even pushing it more and being like very autonomous working as an artist in terms of acting and and producing a TV show right now. 
that's up and running. It's like, you know, in the beginning phases, but things are going really well. And I also love producing. I love the energy of like putting creatives together and watching something come to life. And so it would be having all of those tops spinning simultaneously in a very unshiftable way where I felt like there was some certainty, even though I told you there's no certainty. I'm still looking for that certainty, even though I know there is no certainty. I would like to feel some certainty of my like prospects simultaneously going uh, all in tandem in the future. I would like to, sorry, what? Who knew that this was going to be so hard?